Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So it's problem for us. Rich people problems, man. That's, is that what we call in this se- segment? Rich people problems. Rich people problems, man. This is Money Moses is here. Whenever he, hey, whenever we start talking about rich people problems, we know Money Moses in the building, man. Why do you think people love you so much, Money Moses? Bro, because of my attitude. They don't. They know, know you ain't I, playing no games. You know I be carrying myself. You ain't, you ain't trying to. You ain't trying to hear it. <laughs> Nobody. I don't even care about people no more. <laughs> so they'll be all right. <laughs> so when you when when you hear things about how did you feel about Will slapping that that man at that Oscar like that? Man, he shouldn't have did it. He shouldn't have did it. Nope. Why not? Because look at himself. Well, what it has transpired to, and that's why I wanted. To I mean, just, listen, I, I, every you got to understand, a man when the man's married, he's already going through a lot of stuff already. Yeah. So it's like he got a lot of stuff in his head. Then you want to sit up and go off script and say what you got to say. Of course, he got mad and so you said Chris him. Rock shouldn't have did it. Yeah, no, both of them. They both was wrong. Yeah, they both were wrong. I get it. I kind of agree with him. What you think? I see. I see both sides. Um, Chris Rock being, being a comedian, I'm used to seeing comedians doing all of that. So I, I didn't think of it as any way. He wasn't disrespectful, like blatantly. He said certain things, or maybe I missed something. I know he was talking about her being bald headed, um, talking about GI Jane and stuff like that. But I just I didn't think of that as being anything bad. I understand that she's going through alopecia, and he was not aware of this at all, from what I understand. So it's not like he just went out there and just went after her. Um, just like when you go to a comedy show, they pick out they pick on whoever is on the front seat. Yeah, That's dude. exactly what happened. I can't agree with so, you. So at the same time, but. He was wrong for going up there and doing that. Maybe he should have. He wanted to do it in front of everybody since she he so called dissed his wife in front of everybody. But then there's videos going around showing. Yes, she was mad at first, looking mad at first when he said that. But then Will was laughing at that point. Then he got up and slapped him. And then there's another video showing her from back side view back view when he actually got slapped and she was laughing after he got slapped and i'm like well she got to ride with a man but i i'm really you said she got to ride with a man but i heard that something is um nah, surfacing now that we don't know all I, all i know is she's she you got to understand here 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 it is in a nutshell man they are humans just like us that's true everybody talk a lot of stuff in a safe place. You're right, but they don't look at them as humans, though. What they look at them as? They look at them as as, as, as superheroes, just because they celebrity and stuff, and they don't probably doing what they're doing. That's yeah. what that's what's wrong with. If that was me did that. That would been nope. I would have been in jail. Do you agree with the? They look at them as a human, just a regular human like anybody else, but just held to a higher standard. Because when you're put into certain positions, just like they look at policemen as human beings held in a higher with higher standards. That's just Bro. really what it is. No, nah, police got some. No, wow. let me ask you. you put them in the same they banned category. him for ten years. What do you think about that? They banned him from the Oscars for ten years. Bro, I haven't watched the Oscars in ten years. <laughs> they had to punish him because they said the Oscars are trying to save face because the Oscars came out and said that even after that they asked him to leave. And he refused to leave. And I can't get that because if you have security guards there or police officers, they should be able to escort him out. But again, I can see where maybe they don't want a scene. So they just left it alone and said, well, okay, I'll get no, you on, think, the, on uh, the back they, end. They asked Chris Rock that he wanted to leave. Chris Rock told him no. Well, you got to mm-hmm. think about this. He also did not leave. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, he got an Oscar after that. They they gave that's, him why, that's why I think it was staged. Yeah, I really do. I really do. Honestly. He got but an some Oscar because he's have. not in jail. He didn't press charges. You didn't get put out, and you got an Oscars behind it, bro. Like I said, we didn't even know the Oscars was on. So of course, he, when he, he didn't got get press charges because Chris Chris Rock didn't press charges. Well, on Chris him. Rock was talking that's about them staged. that w- during that time when that concussion movie came out, they banned the Oscars, and Chris was uh, well. Chris was uh, Chris Rock was the. Uh, he was the, uh, the, spokesperson. the spokesperson, the MC for the night, whatever. You know what I mean? And he turns around and he, he bad mouths them then. So this wasn't the first time he did that when they wasn't even there. And it was something that he was like, how can you say you boycotting? We didn't want you here anyway, you know, talking about Will and Jada. So this is the second time he doubled down on disrespect. If you really look at it from that perspective. Well, so you're saying that he held, he's been holding a grudge 
on Chris Rock for so many years. I'm not saying he had a grudge, but he had an opportunity to to, to step up yeah. when 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 he been pretty much when somebody been talking running their mouth. Yeah, because if and you do it one time, in the room I can't with, just take a time. It's gonna happen. See what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna you, happen you're in the time. room with me. You, you, people talk when they wasn't at the Oscar. Like a lot of people talk when they ain't around you. But if you in the room with me, what what you gonna say then? But then he did say something. Not like he and cowered he back slapped. down. And he got slapped, and that, and, that, and that that's what happened when you Man. get in the room with a real with a real one. That dash slap raised their face. I mean, raised their ratings all the way up. Didn't it raise it a lot? Yes, that's all it did. That's Man. why I say it was staged because it, it raised their ratings all the way up. Like I say, everybody you knows the uh, raised they, they as in who? Both, both of them. Both no, of them. No, the Oscars. The Oscars. And, the, and, and the, all three parties. Because nah, I, you I don't think them three parties. No, are just you the can't Oscars. say because I, I was about to say because Will yeah, they talking about now. Will. You talking about Will, but Will it, he had so many movies that was supposed to already come out or some, supposed to be coming out, and they're already putting them on the back burner because of all. So he losing money. Yeah, you they losing money. money. If uh, they put their movies on the back burner, they hate them. on losing money. They all lose money. They, they, all, lose they all lose money. money. So it ain't just weird. They're going to put the movies out. But at the same time, they don't want to put them out now with all of this controversy <laughs> that's going on. Now. About a year from now. Because gonna, you're going to have yeah. people who are who will try to step up and boycott it just because. It's real. Bro, they can't boycott it. Right they, they, they can't boycott other people's money. That's what they're they doing. If you boycott this right now, Will Smith uh, movie, you boycott everybody's money besides Will Smith. They, they don't gonna be care. mad. They don't care. It's Bro. Will Smith is the face right now. You right. He is the face, but who behind the, uh, the scenes? They don't care. It's the white people behind the scenes. Of, they do care. I'm not care. talking about them. I'm not talking about them boycotted. I'm talking about the public. The, the public, public are the one, it, though. Because the public is the one who's going to pay to watch the show. You're right. And if, if they don't agree with, you know, representing him or whatever and donating money, because really you're giving them money by going to watch your shows, they don't want to support that. Hey, Not right now. Let me shift. Like I want to let me shift gears on y'all, man. Let's get to boss talk. Uh, uh, boss talk politics or boss talk uh, uh, shows. I want to talk about the one that's the the one that's been going crazy. Uh, uh, the uh, the Mike uh, Anthony Mike Bless, aka Country Wayne uh, uh, affiliate, uh, and and the phase on love thing. Uh, it's it's been going crazy. Um, in three days, it's did almost five hundred thousand yeah, views, 500, which is it's going to top the most viewed thing that we've ever done. Shout out to Mike for even coming on here. Shout out to Faison for even coming on here. We was uh, what's the most we did? Uh, we done five hundred and some thousand when the OGs came down from Cali. Oh yeah, it's gonna break yeah, that. Yeah, it's gonna break that. But at any rate, this conversation content versus. Uh, new content, new creative content online versus the the movie stars, the old way of doing things. Phase on them, basically uh, d the power from Fifty Cent, the, the 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 whole situation where residuals are being given on these other formats, mm -hmm. and then YouTube, you getting paid money while you sleep, uh, money still still steadily accumulating on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. TikTok, how do you feel about it, Money Moses? Do you feel like are you weighing more on the Michael Anthony side, or which he says they make four hundred and fifty thousand a month? Or are you weighing heavy on the Faison who you went to his show and you seen it was packed wall to wall with? Uh, you didn't go to that show. He no, didn't, I didn't go. go. You went to the other one with us. Right. You went to the Bubba Dub though. with us. Look at Click Full of Stars. That should tell you something. Click Full of Stars. That should tell you something. What, what say that? that explain. Because everybody, they, they are a TikTok group. Like, this is something new. They're a TikTok group. Faze don't know nothing about this. But these kids getting money off that. Like, he don't know nothing about TikTok, but they getting money off TikTok because they're actually on it every single day. They got views, but he don't know nothing about it because he's he's in the, still in the past. Yeah, but he still has a lifestyle that is successful in the past that he's in. I mean, that's most people, I mean, I ain't saying most, some's going to have it. Not all, but some's going to have it. Like, and that past isn't really just totally the past because there People are always going to be movies yeah. being made. Yes, he might not be because big screen might be going away, you know, maybe one day down the line, we whatever. Don't know. I You're said right. maybe one day down the line because everybody's doing at home theaters. So it's your Netflix, it's your Hulu, it's your Zeus, it's your all of those platforms is where people are watching movies right now. YouTube, Friday, all of that. Friday's so that's where the money forever. has to come from. It's from those Friday streaming gonna platforms. Play Friday going to play forever. <laughs> so big yeah, no, yeah, it's going to play forever, but it's going to be playing in your house. He still right. get paid. I'm not he still, paid about, he still get right. paid residuals. Get he paid is getting paid residuals, but I'm talking new movies coming out. I'm not talking any old stuff. I'm talking new movies coming out because with um, Country Wayne, he's continually making stuff and the stuff that he's making is Instagram. It's going crazy. It's 
Facebook. Do you get residuals from Insta- Instagram? You, you just, don't make residuals, yeah, but, you, but still you, get paid. you get you get paid off of views. Yeah. You get, so you can almost thing. call that residuals. Because you're going to get really. paid. Well, I can't say the same thing because I've never been paid residuals. Right. But it could be something bigger than residuals or it could be something lesser. It's going on your impact, right? Yeah. So we just don't know what this stuff. I mean, it's so new and developing that you really don't know, man. You know, uh, we we also had a. Uh, um, uh, Columbus Short. Columbus he Short. chimed in on it a little bit. He chimed in on it a little bit. I know. It was crazy. When he was here, I didn't know it was him. I did not know <laughs> Columbus Short. You talked to him. You sat there. Yeah, no, he was I, giving I did you for advice whole 30 minutes, and everything. I, I did, it didn't click to, uh, I didn't listen to his voice until I actually watched the interview. And when I heard his voice, I'm like, bro, I know that voice. But that voice <laughs> stuck in my head, bro. And I looked at the interview, I'm like, man, that wasn't him. And yeah. he was trying to give you advice and everything. And you but told him you didn't it, want to no, get counseled. I'm not taking no counseling. So let me ask you a question. If you knew it was him, would you have listened to no. him a little bit more? No. Not on the okay. counseling side, no. Because <laughs> I, I, I go in the studio and do my own counseling. <laughs> uh, you're not going to counsel me and tell me something. Then I go to the studio I'm like, bro, I can't do this. He just tell me don't do this. No, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm going to go to the studio, put everything down. I need to go. Then I go talk to him after this. But wasn't it dope for him to reach you know, reach out to us or we to reach out? You Both of us to collab like we yeah. did. And for him to show us the love that he's shown us, man, yes. not even knowing this platform. And what's crazy, I think he probably the, the one that showed the most love out of everybody. He showed so much showed genuine love, bro, yes. to our boss talk. Like, I, I don't know. Mike, you did, only Mike came in, did good. And you only came in on the last That's end I of it. I walked in the last end of it. He came straight to me. The last end of it. You didn't oh, even see the whole me. thing. He, just, and he, he just showed love talking. to everybody in here. And he loved the platform, man. Mm-hmm. And I thank God for favor, man, for him to just come and do it. But just the stories that he told, the, the things that he embodied as an artist and a, an actor, you know, he's, he's su- successful. He's a successful actor. And he has a family and he, he basically very observant, very observant, gave us so many jewels, man. And I just appreciate him for coming on the show. Who else do we have? Hold on, hold on. Columbia Short. I need to be in a movie. Columbus Short, you need to be in a movie. I need movie. to be in a movie, like next year, some sometime You're soon. You're a character up. yourself, so you, you <laughs> could be. <laughs> you should be, right? Mm-hmm. So, so who else? What else did we have, man? Uh, Lil Zach came on. You act good as any angry part. <laughs> any angry part, you could do any it. Any angry you part. You could do it. Bro, that's easy. So uh, who else? Did we, little Zach. We had little Zach. Who else did we have? That uh, little Kiki. What yes. what about little Kiki's? Because you was down Bro, there. I love his energy. You love little Kiki's energy. Yes, all his damn projects. I was just looking. The one I I really wanted to uh, look at. It wasn't even up on the wall. Really? It was not up there. You sure about it that? Because it was a bunch asked, up there. I asked him. Oh, you asked him. Hated by many, loved by few. It wasn't on the wall. It was not up there. That's my favorite one. Hated by many, loved by few. So. Did you what after the after meeting him? Did he measure up to who you thought he was before you met him? As far as his music, I mean, nah, it was just. I mean, I don't get into that personality type because I know how it is in the industry. So everybody yeah. do stuff that you're not gonna want to see and you're not gonna want to hear. But it's like, as far as his music part, it's like, as far as him, he's a stand up guy. Wow, you that's, say that. that's dope. That's dope. And he relaxing in Jamaica right now. He in Jamaica. Yep. That him, sucker left me. Him and Slim Thug and uh, Slim I think Thug. It's Pokey. Bro, that's All who we need to get. Gone. All of them in Jamaica. Slim Thug, you supposed to be on Boss Talk. I'm Big just Pokey. mad Sensei. he didn't tell me he was going before when we, we saw him. We hooked the boy up. The boy didn't want to. Yeah, he would have got a you lot of hookup in Jamaica. Boy. You missed You're out bad. on that. <laughs> so uh, another thing, man. Um, just. Money Moses, you we've been doing this thing, and uh, Miss Jamaica, um, what is your favorite episode that that your favorite interview that you can think of now? Because I know it changes. Your favorite interview that you you, you I'm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to you first, Miss Jamaica. What what is? Bro, that's a hard thing. You can what is your, what is one of your favorite? I don't know. I don't have a favorite. You love all of them. Love all of them. Man, you gonna say the same thing, hey, y'all? I'm y'all saying the same. I like some. I don't even like. Which one you like the most? Bro, I don't know what that one. I think yours, the most the one that you would like the most is the one with you and uh, OG Percy. No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. That's probably the worst one. Are you serious? I don't like that, bro. Why? Because you can't. You he can't. like Lil Sick One. That's the one that he like. Oh, Lil Sick One was yeah, dope. That was, that was dope in it, LA. It, it, LA was dope. I ain't going to say that one. That was, it, it was, but that might be the best. Like the top two. LA? Yeah. Lil Sick. And what's the other one? Carl Crawford? I mean, I ain't interviewed in the house, but I was in the house chilling. <laughs> bro, that was, it, it probably was, though. Shout out, that man. That probably Smoody, was the best, the, the best experience. What about Trill, uh, Trill Talk, No Pill Talk? No, that wasn't the best. Skolo TV? No. Crisco? Bro, no. They're not, they all good. They're not the best, though. It's like, I don't think it was a best yet, to be honest with you. Talk to White? No, he, he, it wasn't good. He just... 
his interviews weren't even good to me. Really? I'm not gonna say they weren't good, but it's like it's not it, it wasn't entertaining to me because it's like it was that's bullshit really. Wow, rainwater. Yeah, that's probably one. Rainwater yeah, the one, man. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Rainwater yeah, that's probably one of them. And I and I I never admit it if you hear this. I never admit it. But this guy this guy <laughs> Rainwater smart though. You know how I say I never admit it, everybody listening. <laughs> I know, but you're about to say it, so Rain like Rain, Rainwater is one of the most uh, the the interviews is impressive because yeah. this dude really got sense. He playing crazy, but yeah, he got, he got plenty sense. Of but he don't, sense. he don't answer none of the questions. <laughs> I nigga gonna answer none of the questions. He gonna go back to the uh, the answer he just finished, bro. He that nigga trip. <laughs> but like I said, he's smart though. Like in the, in the industry, he's smart. He's yeah, a smart guy. He ain't no genius though, but he's smart. I'm gonna say one of my favorite uh, for sure is Sean Cotton's. I, I, I think he was the one that maybe uh, when he came on his energy, the way that he, you know what I mean, yeah, the way that he, that, that, that probably that, was the best one. That's probably the best that. one uh, by far for me because of the way this guy, yeah, he came in and he's just start just giving us everything. You can ask me anything. And I every, think everything he's, he's he the gave first us was person real. that came in here and said, "Ask me anything. anything." And then if you didn't ask him right, he said, "Ask, ask it to me again. right, yep. so I can talk." He wanted to talk about it, and and it, and that's the part I felt like. He, for me, Hills was very impactful, uh, and it's more to come. You know, me and him, uh, mm -hmm. I got to say shout out to him, man, because he didn't have to come over here. He came back over here, and he every time he just uh, headlong went in and said, hey, man, I love what y'all doing. Y'all going to do y'all thing. Y'all going to be great. And um, just respect to Sean Cotton, man, real talk. I got a, a question for Sean Cotton. Say cheese, TV. Y'all go check that boy out. <clears throat> Sean Cotton, why the hell you do interview on your own show? On say cheese. Why he don't interview on his own yeah. show? Because I think he feel like he feel like that's like for everybody else. Like show his else. face. You talking no, about? He no, shows it here. Do an interview. No, with I'm talking on his show. On his yeah. show. Is that what you asking? Yeah. Okay. I, I think his people would love it, but I think he, I love it the fact that he stayed true. I don't, to I don't think it should be an interview. I think it should be a. Uh, he uh, answered uh, that question before. I think in his first interview that he did with us. Stay true to his. I was in jail, man. so I don't know. So you didn't go you back and jail. watch it. No. It's a lot of them I didn't go back and watch because it's like I don't I don't know which ones it really is, but it's like the ones that that, that actually come up now. I just click the click a link. I just watch all and just play back to back. So it's like I know, like wow. yeah, like the other day I finna call you. I like Chris goes too, man. He did a good job on his. I'm being yeah. real. It's certain ones. Bro, it's so mean. Like I be I, got I be forgetting who they is though. Wow, man. Hey, man. So we got we we got well into it. I mean, hey, we, but I can tell you the, the best the best video. The best video that actually, like production wise, was the uh, phase on the last one. You like that? And we kept going back and forth with uh, switching phase on in with uh, with, the, with uh, Mike Bless. Yeah, Mike Bless. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Yeah. It was entertaining. Yeah. Shout out to me. That's one. <laughs> that's one. I'm gonna call you about. For real. I'm gonna call you because I like I had looked up on the thing. I ain't, you ain't post none. I'm like, bro, it's almost five o'clock in the evening. You ain't post none yet. Let me tell you, you know how many calls we get because people are waiting for them to be they dropped? They're waiting on them. They're like, okay, when is the next part coming out? When is the next part coming they out? Ready. Hey, it's already 5 o'clock. What, what <laughs> exactly. is it coming out? That's what Man, I need. Man, I need to watch it on the drive home. What's up? So don't think that y'all are the only ones waiting on this. Nah, you know, I'm we have too. friends, we have people that we're in connect with that is like, man, you need to drop this right now. Bro, if I gotta wait, y'all gotta wait. And I'm here. <laughs> hey, yeah. man, I just thank God that everybody's looking for us, man, because that's a humbling thing for people to be waiting on Boss Talk when we, all three of us, had part with this mm -hmm. table being in here. Um, you helped me to put the TV on the wall. They don't know how deep it gets. My baby, my wife, put this table top on this table. Um, different. Uh, yeah, we had to figure out how to get this thing figure out how to, Yeah, we know so what we stuff. know how this thing begin. I thank God for favor and that the people enjoying what what you and I and all of us that sitting around this August Bro, panel I knew it was put go. together. Man, I texted you and said you I'm said ready. it's gonna go. I texted you and said I'm ready. You ready? Yep. You I, still, said, I said I'm ready. We still got a lot of work to do. Say, so, hey, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we have. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel, man. We need all the subscribers. And on Facebook. Facebook. Boss Make Talk sure. Podcast 101 on Facebook, y'all. We we're pushing follow. our Facebook, Tell them go follow me on go Instagram. Follow. I'm going to get go my stuff follow. back up. You see uh, it. I'm about to. Go ahead. Uh, follow right, everybody. I got to get you. Know, you know, I don't even know my stuff. The hey, official Miss Jamaica on Instagram, on Facebook, everything. Go follow me. What is it? official Miss Jamaica. It's money underscore Moses 318. And money, money. Why you don't ever just make it money Moses? Moses or tried, boss talk money Moses? Somebody I, already have money tried, Moses. And it won't put a boss talk money Moses. Put have. boss talk money Moses. Change the handle. Yeah, you'll you get put, a lot of views. If you put right. boss talk money Moses, it, it, it's gonna it'll pop. take it. Ain't nobody have that on there. Uh, you know what? I can do that. And and and, and that go for you, Mister Jamaican. No, you my name too long. 
Mine too. The official. No, yours is. Hey, what is my yours CEO, too? baby. <laughs> I'll let your boy, man. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys. We love y'all, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.